The ASUS ROG Phone 5 Pro came out earlier this year, and it was arguably the most advanced gaming phone on the market. But time marches on, and now we have the new model, the ROG Phone 5S Pro. So is this the new top dog now, and is it worth upgrading to? I'm Will for GSM Arena, and let's find out in our ROG Phone 5S Pro review. ASUS's ROG series phones are designed entirely around the mobile gaming experience, and the 5S Pro is the latest iteration of that. In most respects, it's the same as the previous models, but it brings a new chipset and a more responsive screen. Let's start with the display. Like before, it's a 6.78 inch AMOLED with a 1080p resolution, a super fast 144Hz refresh rate, and HDR10 Plus support. But this time around, instead of a 300Hz touch sampling rate, it's 360Hz. That's supposed to bring down touch latency to just 24 milliseconds. This should add even more responsiveness to your touch input controls, and potentially give you the extra edge in competitive games. I'm not so sure if the difference is that noticeable while playing compared to before, but at least it looks good on a spec sheet. More is better, right? And it's not just the touch latency that's different. Asus has managed to make this screen a bit brighter, at around 510 nits maximum with a slider, and a boost to 840 nits in auto mode and bright sun. The colors are a bit less accurate this time around, but if you play with the color settings, you can adjust for that. The other major difference on the ROG Phone 5S Pro is the chipset. Rather than a Snapdragon 888, it brings the new Snapdragon 888 Plus. It's for the most part the same as the non-plus version, but has a higher clock speed on its prime CPU core. Graphics tests don't demonstrate a significant difference with the new chipset, which makes sense. But when it comes to the CPU performance, things are a bit complicated. You would think the higher clock speed would result in better scores. But the Snapdragon 888 was already quite power hungry and put out a lot of heat, and the Plus is even more so. In benchmarks, we see that in single core CPU tests, the ROG Phone 5S Pro comes out on top of the previous model. But in multi-core tests, it actually does worse, perhaps due to power or thermal limitations. The 5S Pro does have a respectable thermal management system carried over from the previous models, including an active cooling fan. But there is even more heat to manage here, and in our thermal throttling test, sustained performance is notably worse than the vanilla ROG 5. Don't get me wrong, the Snapdragon 888 Plus is flagship tier, and the 5S Pro's performance is respectable, even for a gaming phone, but it would have been even better, at least in benchmarks, if it packed some extra measures to fight the heat. Charging speed is the same as last year. The battery is split into two cells that can charge simultaneously, and with the bundled 65W adapter, we were able to charge the phone from 0 to 71% in half an hour. Even though the ROG 5S Pro has the same 6,000 mAh battery as its predecessor, a new chipset could lead to a difference in battery life, but overall this isn't the case here. It earned the same solid endurance rating of 110 hours in our tests. In most other respects, the ROG Phone 5S Pro is absolutely the same as the previous models. I'll go over the features briefly here, and if you want to go more in depth, you can check out our full ROG Phone 5 review. The 5S Pro brings a familiar Gorilla Glass and aluminum design with a gamer-style aesthetic. It features edgy, contrasty accents, and like the ROG 5 Pro, there's a flashy PM OLED screen on the back that can give alerts or show off your custom logos. You have air triggers on the corners, which act as extra touch input for your games. And on the Pro version, which we have here, there are also a couple of extra capacitive pads on the back too. Like I mentioned before, there's a bundled active cooling fan which helps to cool things down, and it provides even more touch inputs. And you have the option to buy additional accessories for the phone, like the Kunai Gamepad controller, which turns your gaming into more of a console-like experience. For audio, you get a headphone jack, and a pair of front-facing stereo speakers, with very good loudness and audio quality. There are 512 gigs of storage on board, not expandable, and there's an under-display fingerprint reader for unlocking the phone with. The software experience revolves around gaming. There's a feature-packed Armory Crate, which offers a ton of customization options for each individual game title, as well as global settings. And you can also access a lot of these settings on the fly, in-game, thanks to a handy Game Genie overlay. Finally, there's a 64MP Quad Bayer main cam, a 13MP Ultra Wide cam, and a 5MP macro camera. This hasn't changed, and the quality is about the same as well. 
So there you have it guys, the ROG Phone 5S Pro brings the same great features we loved from the regular ROG 5 and 5 Pro. And on top of that, you get slightly better screen specs and a new chipset. However, I'm not sure if the lower touch latency is really that big of a deal, and the Snapdragon 888 Plus isn't a clear upgrade. It has potentially more power on paper, but doesn't seem to be able to reach its full potential and beat the non-plus model outright. But at the same time, it's really not any worse outside of benchmark tests, and since this new model will probably replace the old one on the market, either one is worth recommending as a top-tier gaming phone. Thanks for watching guys, stay safe and see you on the next one.